Hey, good morning and welcome back to the Witcher Math channel. I just finished a video about angle sums in triangles and here's an extension of that. I have reference that is so funny but you'll understand it during the course of making this video. So of course we need a remote because we're dealing with remote interior angles. A protractor is nice to have handy too. I like these little ones. And something to write with, something to draw with. Here we go. First step, please play along with me. Pause the video if and when you need to. I'm just going to draw a line. Actually, I'm going to make a triangle with my blue marker. I am not an expo ambassador, but they can you can contact me if you work for them. I'd be happy to represent. Just going to make a triangle here. You do the same thing. Make a triangle any shape you want. But we don't want it to take up the whole paper because we're making a video. There's a triangle. Would you agree? It's got three angles, three sides. Okay, and it's a closed figure. Now, I'm going to extend a side, one of the sides. I'm going to choose this one. You can choose any side you want to, but I just want to make it fit on this screen and paper. So I'm going to go ahead and label these angles. Angle A, angle B, and angle C, and I'm going to label this one. Now I'm going to need you to agree with me on a few things, because if we disagree, then the whole idea behind this video is just, you're not going to like it. It's not going to work. We learned in the previous video something we know. What's something you, you know about all triangles? We know that their angles add up to 180 degrees. We know that. That's the triangle angle sum. What is something you know about angle C and angle D? Right. They are supplementary, which means what? You tell me. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Yeah, they, uh, they make that flat line, which is a straight angle. There's a vertex there to prove it. Straight, which means 180 degree, degrees. I almost said tugrees. That's not right. Tugrees. <laughs> no, don't say that. It's kind of fun though. So we know that C plus D, therefore, also equal 180. And we know how to solve equations for variables and eliminate things. So let's go ahead and do that. Since A plus B plus C equals 180, and C plus D also equals 180. Don't they therefore also equal each other? The answer is yes. It's a good time to change colors. So I'm going to go up here. A plus B plus C equals C plus D. And we know that because that equals 180 and that equals 180. Can we agree on that? Say yay if you agree. Now we're going to solve this and get rid of the C. We're going to simplify it at least. We're going to take C away from both sides since it's common to both sides. It doesn't change anything having it there, so let's get rid of it. That means A plus D. A plus B, as in boy, equals D. My name is Dave. Okay, would you agree with that? A plus B equals D. Okay. 
if you agree with that, we can continue with a little important vocabulary. D is called an exterior angle. Every triangle has a bunch of exterior angles. They happen anytime you extend any side of any triangle. See, when I do that, here's another exterior angle. You get the idea. I'm wasting your time now again. There's another exterior angle. Remember, A plus B equals D. We're going to keep this on one page. Equal sign. Okay, so exterior angles happen all the time. And every time they happen, that's where the remote comes in. We have angles that are remote. These are called remote interior because they're inside the triangle. They're opposite of the supplement of the exterior angle. Remote interior angles. There's always two. Okay, this one's outside, so it's exterior. <clears throat> These are inside, so they're interior, and they're remote. This corner has, angle D has to send a little signal out to, cut, to get through here and connect with A and B. And they're equal. Let's prove it with some numbers. Okay, so the important vocab we just covered here. We have remote interior angles, and those are equal to the exterior angle. Remote interior, A and B. They are remote to D, which is an exterior angle. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ugh, I haven't even had lunch yet, but I will soon. Don't worry. Let's measure some angles. It's messy, but I'm going to use the vertex and a protractor to measure angle D. Angle D looks like, if I use the inner circle, I'm going to call that 138. I hope you're okay with that. Degrees. Now I'm going to measure angle A because it's a remote interior angle. And I'm hoping we can agree that's, uh, let's call it 51. Angle B, that's going to be tricky. Flip my protractor upside down. And since I'm starting here, I'm going to count up this way. Oh, look at that. I got uh, didn't get anything yet. OK, let's give that a shot. Counting this way from 0. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. <sighs> Let me go back here. I gotta check my work. You should always check your work. I feel like that's right on. Therefore, angle B must be 70 or 87, let's call it 87 degrees. So we're using some real numbers here. Let's check this out. Angle A, which is 51. Angle B, which was hard for me to read, but I believe it. It's not precise, but we can call it 87, right? Those equal 138, which proves, and we could do this just like the last video, all different kinds of triangles or the same triangle with multiple 
exterior angles built off of it, we can always say that the exterior angle equals the sum of the remote interior angles. And you know how to prove it now, and you can use that wisdom to solve many, many types of problems. And that's going to close it out for this video. You can make your own video, but I would encourage you to practice making your little Wi-Fi signal signs there. Okay, one more. I'm talking to myself now, right? Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate that. See you next time.